Here is everything that is new on the long overdue M3 24 inch iMac. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. I'm hanging out in the studio today and I'm going to walk you through all of the changes that have come to Apple's 24 inch iMac, including that new M3 chipset. So let's go ahead and break into it. Everything that's new on the updated 24 inch iMac. Of course, the biggest addition to the new iMac is Apple's M3 chipset. See, Apple didn't even have an M2 version of this machine and instead it's jumped directly to the M3. The M3 is significantly faster than the M1 and includes additional GPU cores. Before you could choose seven or eight cores for the GPU, now you can choose either eight or 10. The M3 isn't just faster though with additional GPU cores. No, Apple has also introduced the new AV1 decoder on this model, hardware accelerated ray tracing, dynamic caching, next generation GPU architecture, and more. I know a lot of that doesn't even make sense to your actual workflow. So Apple did give us a few different comparisons to look at. We should see productivity apps, things like Safari, run up to 30% faster than the prior M1 version of the iMac. Photoshop should be able to process photos up to twice as fast as before, and it can handle up to 12 streams of 4K video for those video editors out there. Apple has stuck with the base memory configuration, but added a new high-end tier. So the M1 version of the iMac, you could get either eight or 16 gigs. The new M3 version has eight, 16, or 24 gigs to choose from. In terms of connectivity, the new M3 iMac has been boosted up to Wi-Fi 6E from Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3 up from Bluetooth 5. Now let's talk about things that didn't change. Apple is sticking with the same peripherals. So we still have lightning on these new models. Now Apple does include that nice color match USB-C to lightning cable in the box. And if you're not taking these anywhere, it's probably not the worst that you have a lightning cable connected to your Mac, but come on, Apple's moved everything else to USB-C. Why are we not getting USB-C peripherals yet? I'm sure it's coming, but just not, not right now. Uh, Apple's also not changing the colors. These are all still the same colors as before. I love the green one here, but there's also like blue and purple and red. Lots of really great color options to choose from. The fronts are still a little muted for me. I wish they were a little more vibrant and punchy like the backs of them, but hey, that's kind of what Apple's been doing lately. More of those pastels, at least, uh, you know, for its phones. Apple did say they're making this more environmentally friendly though. The casing now is using 100% recycled aluminum, which is pretty cool. The new iMacs are already available to order right now, right this second. There's links for them down below, um, but they will start shipping on November 7th. So if you are hoping to grab one, go ahead, check out the links, pick one up, and you can start playing with it yourself starting November 7th. Let me know what you guys think. Are you even picking up a new iMac with the M3 or were you hoping for a larger model with the M3 Pro or M3 Max inside? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or thread Andrew O'Hara 941. And stay tuned. I got a lot more videos coming your way. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.